I can't believe that we having to do this now with so many devices. In the past, we used to fix computer issues by turning it off and turning it on, but now people are having to do that with their beds and other devices. Just another public service announcement to remind you not to buy internet connected devices, including beds. AWS goes down and guess what? These beds stop working. This video is sponsored by Delete Me. I joined Delete Me because of the recommendations of people like Rachel Toback, highly respected in the cybersecurity space. But who else uses services like Delete Me? Well, judges, election workers, creators, journalists, and other people who can't risk doxing and harassment. I really like that Delete Me is based in the USA and doesn't white label removals. They handle the opt-outs themselves and also have privacy advisors when you need to talk to a human. Pulling PRI off data broker sites helps protect you. Now in today's world, it's unfortunate that this won't make you 100% anonymous or 100% invisible, but it can help protect you and your family by getting your personal data removed from data broker websites. Get 20% off Delete Me's consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com forward slash Bumble and use promo code Bumble at checkout or use the QR code on screen. Once again, that's joindeleteme.com forward slash Bumble code Bumble. This is from 404 Media. The AWS outage bricked people's $2,700 smart beds. I mean, that is a lot of money to pay for a bed. Amazon Web Services went offline. People lost control of their cloud connected smart beds, getting stuck in reclined positions or roasting with the heat turned all the way up. And here's an example of one of those beds. Cyber News says the CEO apologizes to users after AWS outage causes smart beds to go haywire. So this bed costs like $3,000 approved by Mark Zuckerberg. And again, the AWS outage caused some of the pods to go haywire with non-stop alarms, freezing temperatures, some stuck in random positions, and one user even reporting that they were left with no choice but to sleep on the floor. So this is just hilarious. Users say the connection caused the pods to malfunction, setting off built-in alarms that wouldn't stop unless they unplugged the entire setup. And there's what it looks like again. Others reported flashing lights, speakers intermittently playing music, freezing or super hot mattress temperatures, and some pods simply stuck in inclined positions. And this is what it comes down to, right? A lot of people were comparing it to Black Mirror and took to X to complain about it. So you can see here, someone had to unplug it to just get it to, to work. So this is just another public service announcement to warn you to not buy devices that are connected to the internet because what could go wrong? Well, many, many things. And this is just one example of that. So you pay $3,000 for a bed and it needs to be connected to the internet to work, but it gets worse. People are paying $200 a month subscription for their bed. So you spend thousands of dollars on a bed, then you have to pay hundreds of dollars as a subscription to have your bed connected to the internet. But again, there's more, it gets worse. Someone tested the amount of data being sent by these beds and they use a whopping 16 gigabytes to operate a month. So one person did a check on this, 17.7 gig of data a month to run the device. Another person thought that this was clickbait and checked it out themselves. And they found that up to 28 gig a month was being sent, two gigabytes of data sent a day to the cloud so that you can have a bed. And then they ask, you know, what's all this telemetry about? It's bad enough that you slapped with a $200 subscription on things, worse that it doesn't work at all without the internet. So here you can see data being sent. So in a month, lots and lots of data. And here's someone else doing a check on a 26 gig of data. So I've said it before, say it again, don't buy devices that are connected to the internet. They can be hacked. Look at the telemetry that these companies are collecting about you. I mean, 16 or 20 gigabytes of data just to make this bed operate seems crazy. And when the cloud goes down, like happened with AWS, the thing breaks. But what about the subscription? If you stop paying your subscription, what happens? Often the devices stop working. You have to keep on paying after you've paid a huge amount of money just to get to the device initially. You have to pay this monthly subscription to keep it working. It just seems crazy from a privacy point of view, from a cybersecurity point of view. For me personally, I would much rather buy an analog device. What's wrong with an analog bed? What's wrong with just buying a device that's not connected to the internet, always run locally. IoT devices are hacked all the time. 
cybersecurity nightmare, privacy nightmare by devices that are not connected to the internet whenever possible. And to me, this is crazy. $3,000 for a bed that requires the internet to function, that stops working when there's a problem in the cloud, that you're paying a subscription for. I don't know, what are your thoughts? To me, this is madness, but would you buy a bed like this or another device that's connected to the internet? The world is going in a very bad place. I see that they're now putting ads on cars. So you buy a car, you have to pay a subscription like with BMW, monthly fee to get a heated seat. Heated seat is already in the car, but to actually leverage that or to use it, you have to pay a monthly subscription. I mean, it's crazy the way the world is going. I think we as consumers need to push back against this kind of nonsense from a privacy point of view, cybersecurity point of view, and just about ownership of a device. If you buy your laptop, is it owned by Microsoft with uh, Windows? It looks like, unfortunately, we're moving to the world of you'll own nothing and be happy, but you'll pay a fortune for it every month.